I can't believe this. Should you be wasting your money on official figures or should you be buying the bootlegs? Let's get into it in today's video. As much as I do not like touching bootleg products because, you know, they're made in they're made with no standards. They're probably made with poisonous materials and I never even thought of that until some one of my buddies actually like said something once and I was like Oh, yeah, because I'm always so pro bootleg stuff that he was like, yeah, dude, those are like made with like poisonous chemicals. Then again, we don't know what they're making the original figures with. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think we're all screwed. If we're collecting toys, the plastic is going to get us eventually. Me. I'm trying to do a tray shot here. This came with no box. What? It just came with the clamshell, which is kind of interesting to think that they made a clamshell for a bootleg figure anyway. The original figure, as much as I like it, it does kind of not feel, doesn't feel like 100% like a, a really nice, well-made figure. So it is gonna be weird to see how they compete with each other. But for accessories, he comes with the cape and this other cape part. Oh, it's all dirty. That's not good. You blew it! The extra arm piece that you could swap out so he doesn't have his transforming watch on there. He comes with a bunch of hands which are very well made. They're just plain white. And I believe you could probably use these with the Dragon Stars figures or your other figure arts figures. These seem to be very well made. Now, this is the head he comes with on the figure and the helmet is way too big. And the face part is very small. If you're gonna use this head, you're gonna wanna like pull it down a little bit and try to a little bit enough that it doesn't look like he has a little like a smudge, smudgy face. What are those? Let's see, okay, so this part comes apart. I actually, I don't even have my original displayed with this head because I'm, I, you know, I'm not really, the helmet I don't really care for. Oh, this thing just fell damn apart. All right, uh, I don't really care about that helmet, so let's keep moving on. Okay. So even on the original, I didn't think it looked so much like Gohan. I mean, like it's there. Uh, for some reason though, both the fake and the original both seem to not get the Gohan head down packed, in my opinion. Uh, the Super Saiyan head is much better. This is actually pretty nice. And I guess we could compare them. Let me get the originals right here. So if you wanna, if you're actually like looking, there is almost no difference. I don't know, like there, there, there is a difference, but it's not that noticeable. Now, the Super Saiyan head, I would almost say the bootleg looks nicer. I don't know. You blew it! I don't know if I'm off there, but the bootleg, pretty good, pretty good. Let me put these away, I don't wanna mix them up. Last but not least, this is the head that I am gonna keep him on. Now, there are some differences that are of note. Let's see how this fits. I know that on the original figure, this, the cape doesn't really stay on. So I, you, can you imagine if it stays on better on the bootleg? Hold on, let's see. Oof, everything feels like poisonous materials. Like I have to go wash my hands. Usually when I do buy uh, these bootleg figures, I go, I wash them pretty well afterwards. So that's a little tip guys. If uh, You probably should wash all your figures. Uh, that's not even going in right now. Hold on. I do have to say, I think this stays in better than the original. It stays in there better than the original. I couldn't get this part on though. All right, so that's there. Now, one of the worst parts is, besides, you know, just everything is a, a little bit cheaper. There's really not much difference between like this and the Dragon Stars. So if like, when you're paying these bootleg prices, I mean, you really get what you pay for, but this is the part they cheap down on. They took away his leg articulation. So he just looks like he can go this way, but he can't go up. So somebody online actually cut up there so you could get the full range of motion but for now it can only go up and down but you could heat this heat this up pop it off drill it a little bit and you could get the full rotation I'll probably just have him posing on my shelf whatever a lot of people just say like it's just matte the matte finish on the originals is really the difference so if you like sprayed this guy with some matte finish you know what I mean Besides like just some junk, I don't know. It's obviously you really can't compare them, but to me it's not that far off. Like it, it's pretty good for, I think, I don't even remember what I paid, but you know, bootleg prices. You could probably find it on Wish or something like that. We're gonna be opening a pack of cards. So let's keep doing it guys. Now, when I first started opening these cards, I had amazing luck. And the last few times I've been opening them, oh, I love that pack art. The last few times I've been opening them, I've been having horrible luck. So, is today, is right now, is this when we turn it around? Let's hope so. All right, gotta open it. 
I'm excited, man. I want that hype back. If you go watch when I first started doing these reviews, I was super hype. Now, I just finished Dragon Ball Super, so I know who all these people are now. I know who this guy is. Uh, we got uh, Vegeta, young Vegeta right there. We got Tien. Oh, the, the Tao, the original Dragon Ball guy. We got Android 16. We need another Android 16 from Figure Arts. Remake that, please. We got Goku Solar Flare. I don't know who this is. I know sometimes they have the game people in here. That's from, uh, he's from Dragon Ball. Sensu Bean, oh, I love this. I love that, that's cool. We have uh, Z Krillin. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, all right, so we have reverse rare, uh, well, well, just reverse shiny common, but it's still, what a nice card that is. Trunks is always good to get. And then uh, Super Android 13 is the rare, no holographic. Guys, I was doing so well in the beginning with those holographics, and I just been, I've been slacking lately. I, I probably bought too many from the same place. Let me know what you think of the video. If you want more Dragon Ball videos, are you watching Dragon Ball? Did you finish it? All this stuff, do you want more card openings? Would you buy, do you buy bootlegs? Real question, do you guys buy bootlegs? Do you care? Um, do you care about bootlegs? My whole thing is, I don't mind bootlegs if it's from a corporation or a company. I would never buy bootlegs of somebody who makes something of like a, a you know, a personal indie creator or a small business. I would never, uh, you know, buy bootlegs from like it's someone who copied their stuff. But a corporation, man, free game. You know, if I could get the figure cheaper and it's almost as good, I'm going to be doing it. So, that's my stances. I don't really care about anything, though. But, say, thank you for watching, guys. Stay great. This is Rock of the Great. We out of here. Peace. Let me break in here and say shout out to all my channel members. You guys are amazing. You guys help support the channel so that we could keep pumping these videos out for everybody to enjoy. So not only do you get a lot of exclusive content, you get monthly gifts that I send out to you for free. So down below is the link. Join up to become a channel member today. It's basically like a Patreon, but it's on YouTube. So you support me monthly. You want to send something into the channel? I have a PO box. Everything gets opened up in their own video on the channel. Hey guys, I just put up a ton of brand new stuff on my merch website. Link is always down below. Buy some merch.